<clears throat> I just wanted to come on here and I wanted to encourage y'all real quickly. And here's what I want to encourage y'all to do. I want to encourage you guys. I want to encourage you all. This is specifically black people. And, and I'm probably going to get a lot of backlash for this. And I pray that the blogs don't post this and take it out of context, right? We're like a trash ass community of people. Low key. Not even low key for me at this point. I am so sick of niggas. I'm sick of y'all. So I wanna, I wanna shout out to the dusty, broke bum that slid underneath my car in Inglewood while I was out of town and cut out both of my catalytic converters from my truck. I hope you got what you needed. I hope you got your fix, your high. I, I don't know what you did with the money, but I hope you looked at that black, beautiful truck that I bought with my hard earned money that I restored with my hard earned money, that people have helped me restore Erica being one of them, that fucking, yeah ma, wow. I hope that you got what you needed from me. I hope you, you, you went to the chop shop or you went to the junkyard and I hope they gave you, first of all, one catalytic converter on my car alone is worth 3,000. Now guess what? I'm out of 10,000 plus dollars. Because I have to now take more of my hard earned money to replace what you stole from me. You look at my truck and even with the work that still needs to be done to it, my car is worth a lot of money and it is a collector's item. Only collectors buy that year that make that model car. So you knew what you were doing when you slid under that truck, by the way, that I had new a, a lift kit, shocks, off-road tires, the original rims wrapped, bitch, Lifting my shit six inches for paid for that for y'all dusty bummy niggas to steal from me. And what's even crazier, the car was left unlocked. The car was left unlocked. You didn't even steal the whole car. Niggas is killing niggas. Niggas is robbing niggas. I'm sick of niggas. Sick of niggas. And you little raggedy bitches too. 
but it's cool. God blessed me. I can afford to fix it. We got a, a new, a brand new truck coming on the way. And thank God my family is blessed. So my cousin let me take his bends until either my truck, new truck gets here or this one is repaired, whichever comes first. So I just decided to jump on here real quick and shout out to the dusty, crusty, broke bums. And see, and this is the problem too. Y'all motherfuckers so worried about somebody else's body, vagina, womb, who they sleep with, how much money they make, how what they doing with they live, how they raise their kids. Y'all niggas clearly are worried about the wrong shit. If you got to steal catalytic converters, you are one of the people, you're, you're part of the problem. Thank you, Erica. I will call you after I'm done getting Cameron his uniforms from Old Navy. I just, you know, it's all fun and games. I had a little moment where I laughed about it, but I'm back home. I got back home and I pulled up right behind the tow truck. And I'm looking at the tow truck, parked my car on the street. Y'all want to hear how this shit sounds? Let me let you hear how this shit sounds. I want y'all to hear this. Nah, that wasn't no crackhead, Evan. You can't be a crackhead and, and do what they did. I, I slid my ass under the car myself today with Erica on video chat, bro. Like, that was not no crackhead. That's not a crackhead's work. Clean break. They had, they had to have an electric saw. Not that a crackhead can't get their hands on one, but I would assume that a crackhead would get under, under there and do a really messy job. Whoever did this did a great job. They know what they're doing. Listen to this shit. This shit is crazy. Listen, y'all. Everywhere, every day, well, guess what? Check this out, Ma. This is exactly why people wonder. <sighs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Really? Come on, bro. Smells like a Harley fucking Davidson. I told you, Erica. Yo, I got in the car, y'all, and thought I blew up. I literally was checking my body. Like, did I just explode? What the fuck? No, it doesn't smell like eggs. It literally smells like a Harley. It just smells like exhaust. I just, I wanted to, you know, I wanted to just give a quick. I just wanted to give y'all a quick shout out. Whoever stole my shit, you're welcome. Merry fucking Christmas, you bum bitch. Hope it was worth it. You got what you needed. Hope you fed your kids. If, like, at least if you're gonna steal, I hope that you stole because I hope you stole because you 
like needed food for your infant children or because you had to pay a fucking debt and your life was depending on it because let me tell you what I'm to the point now where I see why motherfuckers run around and beat people up on the daily and just on GP motherfuckers got people like me anybody with money y'all got niggas fucked up niggas got me fucked up I know that's for sure y'all niggas is really out here you got people with money fucked up you think somebody that gets up and deals with motherfuckers like y'all evil mentally destroying us and breaking us down and don't say oh that's what comes with it no suck my dick suck my dick I don't give a fuck that I can afford to replace it. I give a fuck that I'm able to afford it that literally because of my blood, sweat, and tears. All three of them in the most literal sense. I do so much for my community. I do so much for every person in my life. I have given my last when I didn't have it. And for the same motherfuckers that break me down all the time, for it to be a person of similar mentality as the motherfuckers that's always in somebody else's pockets in business, for it to be a skin folk is fucked up. Because who got in their car in the middle of a pandemic and was giving y'all girls money? I was driving to Compton. Long Beach, Inglewood, giving y'all money, groceries, supplies. Sending y'all baby shoes and shit. Get up and get a goddamn job. Whether you're a woman or a man, get up and get a fucking job. Get off your back and stop waiting for a nigga to pay your bills. Keep your legs closed and put that same energy into taking care of yourself like I do, like other women do. All right, so life is hard. Okay, so it's tough for everybody. But guess what? The motherfuckers that's not struggling are the ones that when it's the hardest, get up and go harder. The fuck? And niggas wonder why, and that's what I was about to say. It's fucked up. But my homegirls that still live in the hood wonder why I don't come back to visit. Wonder why I don't want to kick it. Wonder why I don't want to go to the party in Hawthorne. I don't want to go to the shit on Crenshaw. I don't. Because niggas don't know how to act. And I'm not saying we're the only race of people that cut up. Because that's not it. And I'm not saying other races don't commit crimes against their own people. That's not it either. My problem, though, is that we're the loudest motherfuckers in the room. Socially and politically. Black Lives Matter. That's fucked up. Whoop do I bam, bam, boom, bam, bam. Nigga, it's y'all doing it to y'all. So guess the fuck what? I don't want to hear it no more. Don't slide in my DMs and ask me for no help no more. Don't ask me to post your black owned business no more. For free. Don't ask me to send me raggedy ass lashes and fucking wholesale clothes to post. No. No. And no. Pay for it. Invest in yourself, your business, your future, your life. You take care of you. I'm not taking care of no more of us ever again until 
societally as a whole, we pull it together. I'm not doing for a group of people who don't do for themselves and then want to take from others. All while yelling, Black Lives Matter. Protect black women. Fuck the money. I got a bunch of that laying around. Thank God. Thank God for this, for my show. Thank God for the book deal. Thank God for the podcast deal. Thank God for all the shit I haven't even announced yet that has already paid me. Nigga, I just bought my grandma a car. Now I gotta call my uncle and make sure, because if this is what niggas is doing... That's wild. That's wild. And I'm so fucking sick and tired of it. Tired. Yeah, that part, mom. Tired. Don't, don't, don't. This shit is beyond my scope of comprehension. Like, like, listen to what I'm really saying, y'all. Parked my car in, at my cousin's in Inglewood. So I was on time for my flight. As I have done for many, many years. I have never had this issue. Street sweeping came, they moved my car, so I didn't get a ticket. They didn't move the car back. Now my cousin got a Bentley, my cousin got the Benz that he's let me drive. He got the the BMW, I he got everything going on. Everyone on that street does. Classic, Hummer, like everybody. That would have never happened on that street. One you mean to tell me one street over? And I know it was a nigga. I know it was. That's the sick part about it. I bet the cost of the new exhaust system I'm going to have to pay for. And the labor. I'm looking at easy. Somewhere between 8 and 12 grand right now. To fix that issue. To fix what you took. I'm willing to bet that amount of money it was a nigga that, that stole my shit. Whatever little punk ass money you used to buy that little raggedy ass electric saw. So that you could run around and take catalytic converters. And I know where you ran my shit to. You went right to a motherfucking uh, chop shop. And because you're a dummy. I can also guarantee you, you didn't get more than 1800 for both of them shits. I can guarantee you that. You didn't get more than 900 per converter. Because they know you're stupid and they lowballed you. That's what I just said, Evan. At the most, they got about 900. Like, y'all got to understand. My car is a, it's only people. You, you're a collector if you buy that car. And we all know Land Rovers are my favorite trucks. The old ones. Those cars are rare. Those parts are rare. And they're original. They're real metal. They're real, like... I got parts on my car that are so hard to find, not because that the car is old and janky. Like I can still get them from the Rover dealership. No problem. But even they know the parts are rare and now you add inflation to the mix. 
and they know that an enthusiast or a collector like myself is gonna pay the price. Because we already know what we're getting ourselves into when we buy these cars. And that's why I've put so much money into the car. You're a fucking dummy. You stole the catalytic converters when the car itself was unlocked. You that nigga, you that bold, bitch. You know what you could have gotten for my car? Are you fucking... slid under my car with an electric saw and took my shit. And now I am going to be, now I am going to be a douche. This would have never happened to me where I live in Calabasas. And that's why I don't fuck with niggas. Bums. Now take that to the fucking bank. Be mad about it. Feel however you want to feel about it. Yeah, that's why. Do you know? I, I slept, fallen asleep, and forgotten and left my garage open. Front door unlocked. On accident. Several times. I grew up out here. Y'all like to talk shit about me on the motherfucking... Shit, every time I leave a comment, oh, you just wanted us to know you live in Calabasas. Oh, you just wouldn't know. It's just where I've always fucking lived. Don't be mad at me because your parents were broke and crusty and dusty and bummy and couldn't give you a better life. Not my problem. I've never lived anywhere different. And because of shit like this, I never will. Excuse me, where are your like unif like your khakis and polos? Boys. Thank you. It's true, like I just can't deal. I can't, I'm like shocked. And I shouldn't be, I guess. What else is there to expect from us? Excuse me. I'm sorry. I uh, boys like polos, like for uniform stuff. Oh, right here on this wall. Yeah. Okay. And the shorts, like khaki shorts and. Khaki shorts would be. Um, like the khaki shorts that you wear No, he never told me the size, so I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, wing it. And he, and he knows, anybody that knows Cameron knows, he likes to wear his shorts really small, which drives me nuts. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, Erica, I'm gonna call you. Ain't nothing like that peace of mind you get living away from the BS, period. Evan, I saw you call me, but I was actually um, underneath my car on the hot ass asphalt. 
making sure that it was catalytic converters that were gone because my car sounded like what y'all heard. I, I literally thought I had exploded. But yeah, let me call Cam's dad and um, see what size he bought because this medium looks like the same size as the large. But yeah. Bye.